Busta Rhymes is doing his fucking thing, dog. You know what I mean? I haven't heard the entire album yet. I've been contemplating on doing a fucking album, a live album review on the fucking YouTube. So y'all let me know if y'all want to do that shit, bro. But I've been seeing Busta every fucking where, bro. I think this is the most I've, I've seen his ass out. He needs to talk more. You know what I mean? He's on all these fucking shows and podcasts and interviews, like, talking that shit, bro. And Busta is just... He needs to share his voice more with the masses. Outside of hip-hop, just perspective. Just talk that shit. But... That brings me to this right now, because I seen on Instagram the other day, Benzino had some issue with Busta having Coy Ray, which is Benzino's daughter, in a video they shot together, and she like didn't have clothes on or something. So I'm, I'm trying to find that so we can take this journey together, bro. So speak for the struggle. She speak for those getting it. She's definitely for inspirational use only. Don't inspirational hate. use only. <laughs> He didn't say recreational use only. He said inspirational use only, bro. Inspired by the queen, <laughs> royal empress right here. This is the young royal empress. Y'all be on your princess shit, and that's great. This is evolution. She's on her young royal empress shit. Fuck out of here. And I'm on my emperor shit. Yes! <laughs> I know Angie Martinez doesn't like me. I don't like her either. You don't do no video with my daughter half naked. I never knew. That Cord felt this way about me. And it hurts. It hurts bad. You know, y'all are just seeing the surface of it on the internet, but in real life, it ain't cool. Um, wish it never happened. What? You know, I know she got nominated for a Grammy, and Lord knows I want her to win it. Now I have three boys. Koi's my only girl. So, you know, girls are harder. Boys, you think you have it all figured out because boys, you, you're looking at them as young men. So it's not that you're, you know, not protective of them, but girls, you're overprotective. Um, I, I supported Koi want to do music because that's all she's ever been around. She's only been around studios when she was doing music and I wasn't necessarily uh, with her being half naked on Instagram or talking about certain subjects she did in her music. But, you know, I didn't, that don't mean that I, I didn't want her to do music. I thought she was gonna go to college, I thought I didn't, I didn't see her in that light. But she's very successful, I'm proud of her. I know Angie Martinez doesn't like me. I don't like her either, you know what I'm saying? But to sit there and interview my daughter and, and manipulate the situation, she knew what she was doing. You know, I'm not gonna call her any names or anything. That there would be the old Zeno. So I'm gonna try to keep her respectful, but she was wrong. Um, She's a woman too, so an older woman, so she should have knew better. You don't play with people's kids, <clears throat> and that's what's so heartening, disheartening about this. You know, a lot of people doing, you know, the whole Buster Rhymes collaboration. Like, he should have reached out to me. Like, you know, you don't do no video with my daughter half naked, and you know, you a grown fucking man. He should have reached out to me and said something, but. It is what it is, you know, she's grown, she can do what she want. But I wasn't with that, you know. I mean, you you just contradicted yourself. I was actually tr sitting here trying to empathize with Zeno, bro. I could, I, could, I could only imagine what he going through, having a daughter that don't like his ass out here, a whole victim of third wave feminism, bro. She's on some goddamn body autonomy, feminism, I am woman, hear me roar, I'ma fuck who I wanna fuck, suck who I wanna suck type of time. That type of time she's on. But that's the issue, that's the problem that you and your daughter got. That ain't got nothing to do with Busta Rhymes, bro. If it wasn't Busta, it would've been somebody, fuck, there ain't gotta be nobody else. Like she gonna, she has been doing this shit from jump, bro. She got her ass out. Everywhere the fuck she go, Busta ain't got nothing to do with it. It would have been fuck even more weird if Busta would have told the girl to put clothes on in the motherfucking video. No, nah, bro. That's the type of time she on. That shit sells. And you seen Busta was like, Busta wasn't trying to like exploit her. Right? That's whack. That's 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 whack, bro. 
it's but it's, it's childish, bro. It's childish, dog. Like you really expect Buster's old famous rapper ass to call you to and ask permission to shoot a video that he already got a song with with your daughter. Shoot a video and and say what? Like she's gonna be wearing revealing clothes, but she got worse shit on her Instagram than what she did in Buster Rhyme video. Video wasn't even crazy. But the fact that you out here like telling the whole world about this shit, bro, like that's why motherfuckers don't like you. That shit messy. And it sounds like you got an issue. It sounds like something deep that you gotta handle with your daughter, bro. Y'all got some shit going on. This shit ain't got nothing to do with fucking Buster. Right? And that's why I didn't even want to talk about it before, bro. I, I hadn't even watched it that deep. I just I read the headline. Like Buster has an issue with Coil Ray being half naked in his music video. Like, bitch, every bitch out here is half naked at the grocery store. At least your daughter getting paid from it. And the reason she moved that way is on account of your ass because you ain't fucking raised her right. So that's a reflection upon you. Ain't got nothing to do with motherfucking Buster. But we're not here for my... I guess we are. We are. I mean, y'all hear, hear, hear my takes on shit, man. But that was the that was whack as fuck, dog. You're going to bust one of the most affected ass motherfuckers out here. And all you're doing is creating a bigger target on your back going at Buster for shooting a video with your daughter. And, and you, you you lucky it was with Buster. She could have fucking shot some fucking video with one of these little whack ass Gen Z rappers that give no fucks about her and 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 was trying to exploit it. Actually, was trying to exploit having her out here naked for real, for real. You know what I mean? Like Buster, he's in, she's in good hands with Buster, dumbass. But listen, what Buster got to say about this. On that note, you know, Benzino had some things to say about Koyla mm. Ray being on the, in the video. Mm. He didn't like how she was dressed, mm. and he felt like you should have reached out <laughs> ahead of time. And so, the, what do you think? The of entitlement, bro. Like, get the fuck out of here, dog. Get the fuck out of here, bro. You want Buster Rhymes, Buster Bus to call you? It ain't like I'm asking your daughter to do anything fucking different and she already got them doing. I'm asking your daughter to pull up in this interview and be your daughter. Be Coyle Ray. She ain't doing shit different. Like, unless these motherfuckers are like homies, like freaking frack or some shit. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Like, it would make sense. It would make more sense if, like, that was my fucking ace, like my fucking dog, my ride or die. And his daughter is going to be in a video with me. Okay, I'm, of course I'm calling his ass up. But, like, if y'all just acquaintances or goddamn just cr fuck benzino bro like i ain't gonna say it. it ain't that deep not fuck him but you are who you are bro you're just a clown about that my thing first and foremost is benzino has my number he knows how to reach me <laughs> boom how to address me boom on nothing on no social media boom because you got my phone number number one number two I've never had to address him about a problem, and there's been plenty of different issues that we've actually went through that led to actual violence. With him and Dave Mays and mm. situations that transpired. Messy. That we was able to resolve civil and respectfully because the beef wasn't even with Benzino, but obviously he got to ride with who he moving with. Mm -hmm. And... We riding with who we moving with. But the point that I'm trying to make is up until probably right now, this is not public information. It's, I'm not saying yeah. this to promote the issue. I'm saying this to promote how the code of ethics was upheld and how we dealt with issues. Yeah, you move like a fucking man, not like a bitch, Benzino. <laughs> move like a man, not like a bitch. Easy. We resolved it as men face to face. <laughs> we wasn't on social media. We didn't talk on the radio. And we all had records out. You know, Made Men was putting out records. You know, he was cool. You know, such a clown, bro. But for me, the reason why I, I was, I, I also felt like it was good to, to, to deal with things in that way, not only because I was raised that way, but. You know, if we really gonna live by the proper code of ethics that we was raised on, then why are you incriminating yourself talking about any conflict that you got with anybody on a social media platform or on the record anywhere? It ain't even that deep, though, bro. You didn't have to say all that, bro. Like, you could have hollered at me. You could have called me, bro. I got issue, call me. I'll let you know. I'll talk to you. <laughs> even though this shit shouldn't take no goddamn conversation. But you could have called me, bro. <laughs> you could have called me, dog. Anyway, man, yeah, Zeno's a clown.
Still a clown. Will always be a clown, bro. <laughs> I, I low key think he's just doing this shit for views to stay relevant, bro. Like, come on, man. You really gonna fucking air out your dirty laundry as far as your dysfunctional relationship with your daughter, bro? And then try to implicate Buster and, and try to say like he got something to do with it, bro, by letting your daughter be herself in the video. You should look that you should look at that as a blessing that Buster gave Koi an opportunity to get on a track with him. Like you your daughter's with hip hop royalty. And this how you do? Like y'all motherfucker is not on the same level. Benzino is not on Buster Rhymes level. Dog, he's doing your daughter a favor, right? Praising her not disrespecting her bro the video wasn't even like no thotty video bro they had a whole little script to it like a little movie scene with some bonnie and clyde type shit you know what i mean and put her on his record <laughs> but you wanna he should have called me man like you know she ain't doing nothing no different than what she doing on instagram but the fact she doing it with buster he should have called me dog <laughs> you know what i mean no nah, bitch shut up